Today we are working on a 2009 Mazda CX-7 with a P2006 code for the intake runner stuck closed. So on this model, the intake runner valve is right there. And as you can see, mine's not stuck closed. The problem is, is I took this intake manifold off and this is your intake runner switch that tells the uh, computer whether it's open or closed. So there's supposed to be a plastic piece coming from this lever right here to open and close that switch. So I'm missing that plastic piece. So I don't have a bad intake. I don't have a bad actuator. I just have a missing piece to actuate this switch that tells the computer it's working properly. So I'm going to show you how we fix that. A little piece of metal I fabricated out of some metal I found around the shop and welded in hopefully to this bracket to where it works on the switch. Okay so this is a setup I used. I grounded my welder out just to the intake right here and I was able to get a pretty nice weld on it and uh, and I welded a little bracket up it's not really perfect but it does the operation so we're gonna see if it clears the code and works one other note I did put either a welding blanket and I just put a welding glove because the high pressure fuel pump sits right here so you're welding kind of close to that and um, you want to make sure you're not going to touch it but that's what my bracket looks like you only need a couple more couple tack welds on it and uh should be good to go it doesn't need to be that sturdy okay one other important note is right here there's a ground and you got to take this plate out right here to get to your to get to your lever down there on your intake runner valve and you take this ground loose on this plate right here take this ground loose on this plate and if you do not pit that bag, this plate has to go back because if you do not pit that bag, you will get a no start. I believe this is the ground for the uh, ignition coils or fuel injectors or something like that because I had a no start condition once I left that ground loose. But I put it back on, it runs fine, and we are all good. So we start it up. There's no check engine light. We're going to scan it for codes. And no codes. So if you're working on your 2009 or 8 or 2010 Mazda CX-7 and you pull off the intake manifold and you put it back on and you get a PO or a P2006 code for an intake runner stuck closed, you might want to take a look at that little plastic piece, see if it broke off on you because that's what happened to me and I've seen it happen to a couple other people. So uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Be sure to uh, comment if you have any questions.